the North Star in the woods. Be sure to wear your hat then. <laughs> you be sure to wear your hat. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, who wants ice cream? Me! Eat up. Without a word, she went out and buried the tiara in the ground beneath the sapling. And as the final scoop of dirt fell, the tiara felt truly gone. And with it, the final link to her old self. She could only go forward and find a new place for herself in this world, where she was no longer truly a princess in a tiara and a beautiful gown, but a wan woman, alone in a deep and ancient wood. And that was how the princess lost her most precious treasure. And her title. I don't like that story. There were no goblins, and it was depressing. We won't read it again. I love you, Mom. Not me. <laughs> Just kidding. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Sleep well and dream, my doves. What a waste.
Hey. You doing all right? I thought coming here would be closing a chapter of our lives, you know? And instead we've spun off a whole miserable prequel trilogy. Okay. No. We're not letting ourselves do this again. Come on. Up. My numbing labor's a great way to forget your troubles. Uh, can't we just have coffee instead? No. On your feet, soldier. Let's take a break from packing and sort out the furniture. Mm. If we get enough done, I'll drive you into town and buy you a gallon of ice cream. Mint chocolate chip, two gallons. Let's do this. Goblin face is keep, dollar sign is donate or sell, and trash can as well, trash. By the way, I cleared out most of the stuff. Hmm. Crummy table and wobbly chairs. We could make some pretty good money if we sell this. And I know I'd end up eating on the couch most of the time anyway. Oh. Oh, God. That's... What's that smell? You hungry? We have a whole lot of nothing. Aw, uh, I was hoping maybe you could make me one of those pickle and ketchup sandwiches. I'm sorry, sir. We are all out of pickles today. Could I interest you in a ketchup-only sandwich? <laughs> Looks like there's still a bottle back here. Uh, ew. Says the guy who used to eat peanut butter with ranch. Mm-mm. So good. <laughs> Ooh, what's that smell? Smells like delicious garbage. Ooh, yes, delicious indeed. <laughs> or could it be Stinky Pants Sam? <laughs> oh, Stinky Pants Sam! <laughs> Come on now. Sam got that smell getting a skunk out of our barn. Be nice. <gasps> a skunk? What did you do to her? Is she okay? <laughs> sure is. She just went hunting for food and couldn't get back out. All she needed was a little nudge to get her on her way. Sam Kansky, hero of skunk kind. I remember being super impressed by him, and it made me want to be a wild animal superhero too. Allison, I asked you to clean up the coffee table three times already. <sighs> Oops, I forgot. What about that dresser? If you want your towels to rot, go for it. Fair enough. Junkyard. We don't really want to keep anything in here, right? Thanks for clearing out those cabinets. Not my pleasure. Oh, ew, ew, ew. Raven Sarah. Oh, God. I can still taste it. Put it away. Ugh. Say ah. Uh... I remember cutting off shaving cream beards with these. <laughs> yeah. Hello, ancient broken-down machines. That will be the future owner's problem. Well, you gonna clean off the coffee table?
Now? Really? It's gonna leave a stain on the wood. Everywhere I look, there's just stuff, stuff, and more stuff. Mary and the magpie. Ancient appliances, you are staying here. Although, that oven looks in okay enough shape. No way. We are not moving the oven. What to do with this? Tables are expensive. And besides, this one's an Allison and Tyler original. What's this doing down here? Is that gum? Ugh. I guess that was probably me. I guess it's finally time to take these pictures down. Yeah, still deciding what to do with them. I mean, most of them are pretty happy memories. I guess. You look cute here. That's not me. I mean, it is, but... But not really. I get it. It's just weird seeing myself like that again. Damn. Didn't think a picture could throw me like this anymore. I'm sorry. That sounds really rough. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm like a thousand times better. But I've got a ways to go before I'm comfortable taking my shirt off. Which is why I'm scheduling my top surgery as soon as we sell this house. No more putting a binder on every morning. God, that sounds fucking amazing. Yeah. Totally. Just so you know, I'll be there to help out when you do. Whatever you need. <laughs> Thanks. All right. What's your verdict, Ronan? You know what? I'll keep a few. To remind us how far we've come. I love this one. <laughs> Why do I look so pissed? I remember loving this. Maybe because Marianne was sticking a camera in your face? Come on, smile, like Alice. Ugh, gross stain is gross. Ugh, what happened? Some unfortunate spillage that brought about the end of indoor tea parties. I hid the stain with my toys, forgetting that they would eventually be picked up. Brilliant move, Ronan. Well, I seem to recall a time you stole an egg, put it on the couch, and sat on it because you wanted a pet chicken. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh-huh. Well, at least I didn't leave a stain. Come on, honey, smile like Allison. Hold up your fish. It's not my fish anymore. Allison stole it. My sister, the fish thief. 
You were just being bratty. Was I though? Yes. All I did was help clean it when we were out on the porch. Eddie had to force you to share. All right, I'll clean it up. Thanks. While you do that, I'll check out the furniture. I'm guessing you want to keep the coffee table? If there's anything you want, speak now. I'm not really planning on bringing furniture to Denali. And if I need a base in Juno, you'll have all the furniture I need. How very non-committal of you. All right, I'll keep it. I really like that armchair. Maybe sit in it for a few minutes and see if you get used to the mold smell first. Uh, on second thought, never mind. Another one for the landfill. And finally, I hate to say it, but the couches get a one-way ticket to the dump. No protest here. I think I have permanent knee damage from a decade of bumping into the corner of those damn things. Well, then that's it for the living room. You are relieved from your duties. Starting the fire again? Yeah, I'm gonna boil some water. You want something to drink? Would you rather have instant coffee or instant coffee? Hmm, nah, sorry. I'm more of a tea person. Get it? Tea? As in... Mm-hmm. How long have you been waiting to make that joke? Longer than I'm willing to admit. <laughs> I am so glad Eddie came through on the caffeine. Shh, did you hear that? <gasps> the Ice King is sending us a warning. That's a nice face. I wonder if my horse figurine is still in there. Your what now? You know, my blue toy horse. With the kind of melted face. The one you stole from me. What? That never happened. Yeah, it did. I won it at that little Halloween carnival they had at the school every year. You grabbed it and hid it in the pot. Then when I tried to get it back, you said there was a snake inside too. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I think I remember the snake part, but you didn't win that horse. I did. And you were crying because you hadn't won anything, so I gave it to you. That makes no sense. Why would you hide it if you gave it to me? For your punishment, said the Ice King, you shall be banished from the forest. And if you dare come back before the new moon, you shall feel my anger in your gut. Hear it in the wind. Whoosh! <laughs> huh. Do you think the Ice King would really react that way? He may be intimidating, but he's always fair and never mean. Oh, yeah, you're right. Maybe he tells the goblins to help the people they hurt instead? Great idea, sweetie. Why don't we think about it at dinner? I'll put everything away for safekeeping while you go wash your hands. Can you put them in the binder so they don't get stained? Of course, love. <sighs> I still think my dark and twisty version was better. We put so many hours into that book. Yeah. Our binder was full of extra drawings and incomplete stories. Think they're all still in the kitchen drawer? We should go take a look. Hey, Allison, let's look at our drawings. Allison's first drafts. Right, because I didn't contribute at all. Come on. I know you did. 
can't believe she kept all these. You'd think putting them on the fridge for a couple of weeks would have been enough. You know how we thought of ourselves as the goblins? Did you ever get the sense that maybe Marianne was the princess in the stories? Uh, yeah. She called her bedroom the princess's sanctum, and she was all alone in the woods, in this house, until we showed up. She was. Alone but with a few friends who helped her along the way. What are you doing? Research. So if Marianne was the princess, then who were all the rest? And here we go. Oh, come on, humor me. Hmm. Pelican. She was the most generous one. <laughs> yeah, but there was always a catch. You go here. <sighs> Poor Moose. Really didn't do him justice. Hmm. Justice? Kind of ironic, huh? Considering he was the lawful good one? Too bad the law isn't really just. You done? The bear was the most helpful one. He was always around. Stalking her? What? No. I mean, he was kinda always there. Lurking. All right, I think I'm done. You sure? How do you like them apples? You know, I think you might be onto something. What about these guys? I don't see them being real life people, or this one. I forgot about that. We'd been pretending he was there. And then, suddenly he was. That was the only time that happened, right? Allison? Wait. It felt way too real. It was- Us. Pushing our imagination way too far. Uh, Great. Hello? Sam Kansky, Grandmaster of Bad Timing. We're not done with this conversation. Morning, Sam. Ahoy, goblins. I ran into Chief Brown, who said you were starting to clean up on the house this morning, so, uh... I kind of figured you might need some supplies. That's... Thank you. That was very thoughtful. So listen, I, uh... I wanted to apologize for scaring you yesterday. You didn't. Your shotgun did. <laughs> yeah, uh... Well, I, uh, anyway, I also came by to say I fired up the Google and I, uh, I did some reading. I didn't know the difference between all those words. I mean, I, you know, never been much of a reader. Huh? But I think I get why what I said was wrong, and I'm real sorry. Oh, and before I forget, for the lady of the house.
It was your mom's favorite recipe. Still make it darn near every week. Think of her every time. Uh, thanks. But we don't have a stove. Still no electricity. Oh, yeah. The fuse box is busted. <laughs> Just another thing I've been meaning to put back together around here. Where is it? I can take care of it. Oh, I don't doubt you can. But, uh... I've been kicking this thing back to life for the last 20-some years. I'll give you a hand. All right. Box is in the barn. Follow me. We'll be right behind you. That apology was something. Come on, we need lights. So be nice to the helpful man. So, um, how's school? I graduated already. Outdoor studies. Oh, outdoor studies, huh? Well, it's a good thing I came along when I did. You know, I built this here barn for your mama. You really helped her out, huh? Oh, you know, just a few chores here and there. I was, I was glad to help your mother. She... No. I can never bring myself to leave her high and dry. Anyways, let me find that darn key. Wait. Wait, Sam. You have more of our keys? Yeah. The one for the barn's called a railroad key. See, it's got this special tip that you can... Fascinating. I'll take that off your hands now. Well, I, uh... Figured I might still need to do some maintenance, so, uh... Nope. We're good. Thank you. Uh, fair warning. Door's a bit temperamental. <clears throat> Haven't you been taking care of this place? <sighs> you didn't oil the doors? What? You think I just hang out here all day or something? Here, son, give me a try. Good. Okay, when you twist it as far as you can to the left, give it a nice little jerk. <clears throat> Damn it. No oh, shit. At least the door is open now. All right, fuses go into plugs. Should be easy enough. Let's try this one. All right, let's take a look. Look at what? The whole jam needs to be replaced. Nah, just need to sand that part down. We could refinish the whole thing, but... <laughs> That's a lot of work for an old door. Pass me that handle. Yeah, sure. Thank you. Oh, shit! Oh! What happened? You okay? Uh, yeah, it's just, uh... Just a bum knee, I wrecked it playing ball. Ball? Football? In college? High school. Best damn fullback around. Well, until... Until I got hurt. Damn. That's rough. Problem must be the latch. No shit. It's covered in rust. Eh, nothing a little salt and lime can't fix. Salt and lime? It's a door latch, not a bottle of cheap tequila. <laughs> mm. 
Sure could go for a margarita right about now. A margarita? Really? Hey, sometimes old Sam likes to feel fancy. Shouldn't we get this cleaned up before we put it back together? I just want to check something. Hey, uh, you two got any, uh, bear insurance? What for? You and your gun are always around. Oh, oh not always. And you can't fend off a bear with smart-ass remarks, you know? We're not getting a gun, Sam. Mold everywhere. Well, don't stick your nose in there. Shh. Like it's a goddamn bouquet. Mildew's always a problem with these doors. They're on the north side, so no sunlight. Sounds like the builder really screwed that up, huh? <laughs> hey, now. Watch yourself. We just need to clean it with turpentine, right? And borax? Mm-hmm. Probably ought to blow dry it, too. I usually air out the barn much as I can. Oil is burning. Lindsay? Hell no. That stuff's a hatchery for mold. Teak is what you want. Wait, that's not right. You sure you don't need a hand? Hey, I'm moving at my own pace. I need to know this stuff. All right. Women, huh? Don't do that, Sam. Uh, did you read the note next to the box? silver bit it needs to be forced back onto the brass bit that's probably what was jamming it in the first place hmm. probably so you've got a good head for this stuff yeah well you're not the only person who used to fix stuff around here <laughs> yeah. pretty much took an army to keep this place standing yeah so um speaking of doors we kind of broke Marianne's trying to get into her bedroom Is that right <laughs> no can't sell a house with a broken door, now can you? I'll fix her up for you. Thanks. Huh. Still won't budge. Is there any three-in-one oil in the barn? Nope. You'll have to pick some up at the Vecchi's. Anyways, see how loose the bolt is? Strike needs to be replaced. Does that mean you can't fix the door? Um, yeah. I guess I should try a higher amp fuse. Be careful you don't put a low amp in a high amp plug. That's a fire just waiting to happen. Just do the math, Allison. Try again.
Why isn't this working? Yeah, do you see any yellow cable? It's paired with a 20 amp. Hey, what did I say? She's doing this on her own, man. Look, I'm all for strong, independent ladies, but uh, we don't want anyone hurting themselves, right? Thanks, but I'm no lady. Seems good. You damn fool. Everything okay? You, uh... You two look like you got this all in hand, so, um... do with this wreck? Take it apart and sell the scrap? It's been rotting in here for a decade. I don't think there's anything salvageable. I'll be the judge of that. Preda rep. What's that? Wolf pee. Ew, what? Do not spill it on your shoes. Why is there wolf pee in our barn? Wait, if, if it's a weird sex thing, I don't want to know. You wish it scares off predators and rats. Ugh, lovely. I wonder why Sam got so upset. Oh, he probably forgot he was all out of bourbon. Hey, that's not cool. Sam has a serious problem. Sorry. It was a low blow. He really freaked out when he saw that gun rack. Remind me to take it down later. Oh man, I'm gonna put together the sweetest toolbox ever. Huh, look at this. I think this is where she made all her toys. She was so crafty. And she could try. Toilet paper tubes, rope, cardboard. Wonder what she planned to make with that. Maybe a car? Ooh, or a tank. Found Marianne's stash. Blueberry. Those have definitely gone bad. As far as I'm concerned, they always were. Does canned food really expire? I mean, it's airtight, right? Uh, not gonna be the one to test that out. Allison, do you know who this is? What did you find? Do you know who that is? Uh, yeah. That's Carol, Eddie's mom. I've seen other pictures of her, but never this one. Man, look at Brown. And Marianne. She looks really happy. Can I? Careful, the glass is Ow! broken. Are you okay? It stings. Let's go see mom. But she'll get mad. You weren't even supposed to be here. I feel something strong. It's making my teeth tingle. Come on, it's gonna get infected. 